what's going on guys in this video we're gonna talk about Molin automotive once again it's Molin automotive with the ticker symbol m u l n guys if you like the information and analysis that i'm providing in this video please hit the like and subscribe button let's get going molin automotive today closed at the price of two dollars and 16 cents it's down 10 percent today and it's still down 0.93 percent in the after hours but if you go to fintel the short interest of free float is 15.93 percent off exchange short volume ratio of 14 million seven hundred twenty four thousand nine hundred ninety six shares off exchange short volume ratio 47.75 percent now if we go to market beat it will tell us that Molin automotive has a five-day performance of negative 13.94 percent but a one-month performance of 22.03 percent so guys, I'd like to congratulate all those uh, Mullen holders who went in at the price of 80 cents. So 83 cents, I think, uh, as far as I can remember, my entry point for this certain stock is 88 cents, something like that. Okay, guys, so uh, let's, well, let's continue. So guys, going back to this article, Mullen Automotive pops after CEO says order from major Fortune 500 company will be announced. And everybody's waiting for that announcement. Um, like, uh, you know, if you're a Mullen holder, you should be aware of this. Even me, I am excited for this uh, announcement. Now, going back to Twitter, guys, I uh, seen this uh, article, you know, this is just a post from uh, a Twitter user, shout out to this guy, Trader99. Uh, there's two parts of this post. It says here, Kumau to help Kumau, sorry, you know, if I read wrong, Kumau to help Molin expand production and Amazon to buy thousands of electric vans from Stellantis. So, as you can see here, uh, there's uh, the Kumau, uh, Kumau uh, logo, right? in the uh in uh in, in this post okay so let's break this down into uh, different articles so <clears throat> going back to this article come out to help Mullen expand production so let's get into that it says here that uh, Mullen and Kumau, a leader in industrial automation team up for full-scale automotive body assembly at Mullen's tunica amec facility so Kumau, a global established a global company established in 13 countries and a worldwide leader in delivering advanced industrial automation products and systems with a strong presence in automotive manufacturing is teaming up with Molin on the build out of a body shop at Molin's AMEC facility in Tunica, Mississippi. Total expansion plans for AMEC include 1.2 million square feet of body shop, paint shop, and general assembly. Okay, so we scroll down. Molin Automotive and Kumau are joining forces to develop a state of the art body shop for the new and upcoming Molin. 5 EV crossover. Mokumau has been a leader in the industry of automotive manufacturing along with other sectors since the early 1970s and it's reputed for combining innovative engineering solutions with easy to use open automation and enabling technologies. Kumau's co competency stems from over 45 years of field proven experience in a strong presence within every major industrial country. Molen Kumau will work to deliver the most accurate and quality body shop to enhance the overall production of the five. Okay, so that's the first part of the article. It clearly says there that Kumau and Molen, Molen uh, teamed up to build that fascinating facility. Okay, so the second part of the article, we go here. It says, Amazon to buy thousands of electric vans from Stellantis. Amazon today becomes Stellantis' first commercial customer for the new Ram Pro Master Battery Electric Vehicle launching in 2023. The merger between FCA and TSA expects the long-term agreement with Amazon to help them put thousands of BAV Pro Masters on the road every year. The Ram Pro Master takes its clues from all electric uh, Fiat Ducado, however, Stellantis says it it used input from Amazon to add last mile delivery features and Amazon will deploy the vehicle to routes across the U.S. More details remain, however, scarce. The Stellantis mentions the ProMaster BEV deal as a separate agreement in a statement that is actually about software cooperation between Amazon and Stellantis. So from 2024, Jointly developed software solutions are to be used in the new digital interior platform SDLA Smart Cockpit in Stellantis will also use Amazon's cloud service AWS as its preferred cloud provider. So there's the team up with Amazon and uh, um, Stellantis. So we scroll down to that. It says here that the orders are, part, are a part of Amazon's climate protection pledge in which the e-commerce giant aims to use 100% renewable energy by 2030 and to cooperate uh, carbon dioxide neutral by 2040. So there you go guys. There's a, uh, you can clearly see that uh, Amazon and uh, Stellantis are working together for, you know, uh, carbon carbon dioxide neutral by 2040. So how is uh, Kumau uh, 
related to Stellantis. So, if we search it in Google, interestingly, Kumau is a subsidiary of a parent company, Stellantis. Okay, there you go. Kumau is a subsidiary of a parent company, Stellantis. Okay. By the way, guys, these are just speculations. And like I said earlier, I just found this post in Twitter. Okay, so people are excited. You can't avoid people doing this and uh, um, everyone excited. So even me, I would like to know that information. And one more article looking forward for next week. Shout out to uh, Stankwitch. Stankwitch, who posted this? If uh, everyone is seeing this, it's a possibility for a cup and handle formation. Okay, so that's the cup and there's the handle. Okay, so if we go to uh, if we go to her tweet, okay, this is the graph or this is the uh, current um, <clears throat> this is the current graph of uh, Molin right now. Okay, so possible cup and handle. Okay, what is a cup and handle? Let's uh, check that in Investopedia. So cup and handle definition. So what is a cup and handle? A cup and handle price pattern and a security price chart is a technical indicator that resembles a cup with a handle where the cup is in the shape of a U and the handle is of a slight downward grip. A cup and a handle is considered a bullish signal with the right hand side of the pattern typically experiencing lower trading volume. So we are currently experiencing that with this uh, certain security. The pattern's formation may be as short as 7 weeks or as long as 65 weeks. Key takeaways, a cup, hand, a cup and handle is a technical chart pattern that resembles a cup and a handle where the cup is in the shape of a U and the handle has a slight downward shift. A cup and a handle is considered a bullish signal extending an uptrend and is used to spot opportunities to go long. Technical traders used, using this indicator should, please, should place a stop by order slightly above, above the upper trend line of the handle part of the pattern. So what does a cup and handle tell to you? Okay, a stock forming this pattern tests all the highs and it is likely to incur selling pressure from investors who previously bought at those levels. Selling pressure is likely to make price consolidate with a tendency toward a down trend. Trend for a period of 4 days to 4 weeks before advancing higher. A cup and handle is considered a bullish continuation pattern and is used to identify buying opportunities. It is worth considering the following when detecting cup and handle patterns. Length, generally cups with longer and more U-shaped bottoms provide stronger signal. So depth, uh, the depth, uh, ideally the cup should not be overly deep. Avoid handles that are overly deep also as handles should form in the top half of the cup pattern. Volume, volume should decrease as prices decline and remain lower than average in the base of the bowl. It should also then increase when the stock begins to make its move higher back up to test the previous high. So, it says here is a cup and handle pattern bullish. As a general rule, cup and handle patterns are bullish price formations. The found so first approximately one to three months before the cup pattern begins, a security will reach a new high in an uptrend. Second, the security will retrace dropping no more than 50% the previous high, creating a rounding bottom. Third, the security will rebound to its previous high but subsequently decline, forming the handle part of the formation. Finally, the security breaks out again, surpassing it its highs that are equal to the depth of the cup's low point. There you go, guys. So let's double check if we can actually see that in the current price action of the security Mullen. So guys, this is the uh, one day chart of Mullen. As you can see here, I have uh, made, uh, so I did not make this. So this is exactly the uh, chart of Mullen. This is the possible cup and this is the possible handle. Okay, shout out to her who actually tweeted that. So it's up for you to decide whether it's a cup and handle, okay? So for me, it's a cup and handle. For me personally, it's very, very bullish indicator, okay? So today we actually closed at the volume of 54.86 million. Our, uh, our uh, average volume is usually 120.36 million. So, like the like well, what I invest invest to said, it the the volume should be low, then it would uh, start to trend in the upside swing. Okay, so and it should have you know it should reach to this low point before it started it starts to, to move up, then come down, consolidate a little bit, then it starts to move back up again. Okay, so that's uh what invest to said. Okay, so anyway, so uh, our current resistance, if you go to your daily time frame, is uh, at around here, at around the, the resistance is around 3. Point, around 3.5, 3.57, okay? So we now currently have, a, this is your uh, demand zone. So we, are, we seem to be consolidating here in this part already. And that should stand as, as your support at around 
these levels 2.16 this is your next support here okay 2.09 2.16 in your daily time frame so uh, we break this uh, red candle down okay as we break this candle down uh, you can clearly see here that we are still in an upward trend so we are not going in a down downward trend uh, like i said uh, this stock is not going anywhere because still everybody is waiting for that major announcement okay so if you scroll down in your 15 minutes time frame of course uh in your 15 minutes time frame uh, we are uh, consolidating here in this uh, level so in your 15 minutes time frame around 2.3 is your next resistance once again i uh, see that the stock is very very bullish in the near short term because of that major major announcement so guys if you enjoyed this video just put your comment in the section in the comment section below okay once again this is your boy don leo trades i love you all peace out